Hello, Tango friends. Welcome to Patricius and Eva Tango class. Um, today we are going to work in the sacada, alta, high sacada, alta sacada, whatever you want to call it. Um, I will fix this as I'm talking. <laughs> so you're going to learn how to do a nice high sacada without hurting your partner. They are very pleasant when they are well done. I really like when I'm, led, I, I'm being led into high sacadas, okay? So we are going to share that with you today. And I want to Hola. say thank you to my friend Cristina Delon for the beautiful jewelry you always um, give me with, you know? It's a pleasure to wear them always. Thank you. Anka, now, Patricio. And Luca. Okay, and Luca, today uh, our kids are with us. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's why the, 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 the el video hoy is is titulado Tango en Familia. So okay. today we have uh, three special guests. Los chicos vinieron a visitarnos al estudio hoy y tenemos una fiesta. Tenemos eh, sándwiches, tenemos eh, torta de chocolate. Uh, we're having a party today. We have three very special guests. Our children came to the studio today with us and they are watching uh, our streaming um, and maybe they will come up and say hi. Um, so we are enjoying chocolate cake and sandwiches and, and, and tablets and with uh, games. Tablet and yogurt, yes. Yogurt, lots of stuff. <laughs> yes, it's great company. And we have a lot of friends with us too at home. Some of you say hello here verbally, some of you send messages, but some of you um, uh, continue uh, bringing us your support week after week. Bruce, Denise, Shihualin, Rebecca, uh, Tom, John. I know you don't always say hello here in the chat, but you're always there. So thank you very much for your support. We say hello to you. Jorge, Anya as well. Yes. Um, Judy Graham, I think she's still watching us. Um, we, we know that there's people that watch the, uh, they cannot actually watch the live uh, class, so they watch it later in the week. Yeah, some friends are watching our videos and practicing with our videos throughout the week, and that's exactly. great. Yes. It's so inspiring for us to mm -hmm. keep going. Yep, absolutely. Really, yes. we're here thanks to you. Huh? This is the only reason why we're here, because you are there watching and dancing with us. So it's very inspiring, us, uh, very inspiring for us to, to know that you are there and you enjoy our work, so please leave us a message, uh, share our classes in your, in your profile, tell your friends about it, uh, it's very important for us to uh, continue growing our audience. Exactly. You want to show some of the high sacadas? High yes. sacadas have several connotations. High sacadas could be uh, high because they are high quality sacadas. Some people call like alta sacada, alta, alta sacada because they are muy buenas. Uh, alta sacada means good sacada in s Spanish slang. Um, so uh, we refer here in this case to the place of contact with the, uh, the legs. We have two, two kinds of sacadas, low sacadas, and these sacadas normally make contact on the foot. And the instep, right? Yes. So for example, if I'm doing a turn and I make contact with the low part of Eva's leg right there as she moves out her leg and here as she moves out, these are low sacadas, okay? Mm -hmm. Sacar is the action to remove, to move out, to, to take out. Um, that's what it means, the word. And these are low sacadas because they make contact on the foot. Now the high sacadas, the high sacadas make contact in the thigh, in the section of your leg between your knee and your groin. So yes. pretty much in the middle. Yep. You want to overlap the, the upper part of your uh, leg, the thigh. Uh, and that is why we call this high sacadas, regardless of the outcome. So I know in some um, circuits they like to uh, ban by saca back sacadas, they want to high. cancel. High high sacadas or back sacadas as well, um, in the justification that they are dangerous because they think maybe people will kick. The, the outcome of the uh, receiver, in this case the follow, who receives the sacada, uh, depends. She could choose to move her leg through the floor. Hola, Luca. Vení que papi y mami están bailando. Vamos, Vení, vení. 
Ah, ok. okay. More cake. More, More cake. cake. Uh, pero ¿quién se queda en el, en el, en el coso? Ok, yo, yo vengo con el cono. Yeah, so well, I will keep uh, talking about what Patricia was saying anyways. So, the high sacada, it doesn't mean that the leg has to fly high. Okay? It just refers to the contact, where the contact is made during that sacada. So then you can do a high sacada with a leg flying, or as he said, yes. you can keep it close to the floor. But that is the kick. You can kick or not kick. Yes. Or you can leave the leg through the floor, although the leg, the leg was removed by the pushing of the thigh. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to give Luca cake, yes. I'll show people the technique. Okay. So, there are several <laughs> things that we need to do today. This is a two-tier class, okay? We're not finished today. We're going to begin today with this, but this is uh, a way to bring you onto what I want to teach you after this, and that is the chain step. The chain step is the favorite step for many dancers, especially when the music kicks fast and you want to run around. But that we're going to do next week. Now we're going to work for a moment in your technique. Okay? So I want you to stand up and come up here with me. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to slide our right leg forward. We're going to turn out and then we're going to turn in and then slide it back. Forward, turn out, turn in, slide, transfer way. Forward, turn out, turn in, transfer way. Forward, turn out. Notice that when I do the turn out, I am here and I turn from the leg up in the thigh. This action is inside between my leg and my hip. Forward, turn out, turn in. Transfer way. Forward, turn out, turn in, transfer way. Forward, turn out, turn in, transfer way. When you do this, you are becoming aware of the movie movement that you have to do when you're doing a step forward because as you bend your knee, your knee will move sideways, you see? And this is the way you're going to come in contact to do your sacada. Very important here for the follow in this case is to overturn your ochos. Okay, and this is a work that we do all the time. You step back, you don't always step behind, you try to cross that leg a little bit. Okay, now here in this moment, very important that you begin your back ocho with your leg first. So we did this to, to turn now, become aware of that. What we're going to do is we're going to pivot and lengthen our leg. Pivot and then lengthen our leg. Pivot and lengthen our leg. See, you slide your toes through the floor until you reach that extension. You don't stick your butt out. You keep your butt in line and you just keep your back straight. It is shoulder pivot, leg, leg straight. Let's do it with the other side. Pivot, straight leg. This is the order in which things need to happen. Okay? Yeah. You do not think in any other order. Rotation, and then extension, and then the weight transfer. And I am insisting with this because this is a must. Because if you're going to do a back sacada, your partner... Actually, I was going to work with the cone, you with the cylinder the when you were gone, but <laughs> we're going to put it away. This is what I use in my lessons. <laughs> that was loud. This is what I use in my lessons when we need to talk about axis. Which it was stay, standing stay. straight in its axis. <laughs> Behave. So Eva does this very well. Let's look at how Eva pivots. And she extends her leg at the end of that pivot transfer weight and then we will discuss how much I turn her but she did not separate her legs during the pivot she's still pivoting she has her legs together and then extends her leg like she likes to say beautiful and then from here she will initiate her weight transfer this is the moment where the sacada will happen right there my leg is inside when she still has weight forward 
As she transfers her weight, she overlaps with me and receives the displacement. This will lead into a low voleo, perhaps, a high kick. We're going to try to explore them all. And here is the next exercise. I pretty much hate this one, but sometimes you got to do things that you don't like. And what is this? It's a hip, it's a hip um, stretching. So what you're going to do is you're going to cross your leg, you're going to grab your toes, like that. If you can grab higher in your leg, better, but I have to grab the there. And then you're going to put your leg straight. Try to bring both hips square, both shoulders square, and lower the knee straight to the side. Right point the knee to the ground. Bringing the stretch here. Oh, see, I hate this. But I know it's good for me. While you do this, you target here your hip, and you try to lift the hip and you try to push it back towards your, what is that? Towards your spine, I'll say, towards your ribs. Because from the side, you I want to look that. as straight as you can, and your knee, not there. You want to lower your knee by pushing the hip forward, you see? You squeeze your glute, and you bring your hip forward. Oh. It kills me. You're perfect, you have no problem there. Okay, but this is for you guys, my friends out there who struggle with this position, you can hold onto a table or something, but if you're patient and you stay there for a while, then, ah. Oh. Yeah, so your oh. butt is working, your yeah. glute is Ooh. working, and you are here, oh. you know, trying to rotate this area, yeah. <laughs> to open the hip, yeah, that's what we are trying to accomplish, yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful sensation. Oh. You can do this on the floor as well, it's a little bit more intense. But it's very effective to do this on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yoga clothes are better flat. <laughs> okay. So, are you feeling it now? Why I say this? Because that's how the follow will receive this sakada. So you have to be able to lower your knee, be turned out, and then race, race, race. See, I know in like this the game master in... Correct. Yeah. Like the master Eva Lucero uh, does her boleos. Although you don't want to do it like that, this is an exercise just for you to feel this area here, right? Well, the rotation is the turnout is the same, and once yeah. you turn out here, then you can cross. I'm kicking hey, that my butt. That is an exercise. You're kicking what? <laughs> my butt. You're kicking butt. My own butt, yeah. Okay, so. As you do a back ocho, see how many things are happening here. If my partner goes away from me, I won't have the chance to really find the outer, in, uh, the outer thigh. So I need my partner coming around me. For and that, you need to lead your partner close to you, not away from you. Okay, so either your partner can go away from you, even when you're trying to keep your partner closed, or you are not really keeping your partner close enough by the moment you make her overturn that back Ooh, ocho. So many things, right? yes, so, so many things. This is so advanced. 50-50. <laughs> I want to talk about other things. I want to talk about something else before okay. we do it. I want to make you aware about this. Kicking your foot high with your knee sideways. That's another exercise for you guys. I know Richard in Canada is doing every single exercise with us. <laughs> yeah, he messaged me and he said that he is. So no joke. See that? I'm trying to kick my feet high as I put my knee sideways. See, all these things will pair very well when it comes time. See, the, I'm turning out my leg. This is prerequisite to swing your leg sideways. Having some flexibility here in the hip is prerequisite to be able to kick that boleo like that. You see that? And as you, now this is for the follows too. I mean the other one was for everybody, but as the follow is backwards here, and she is going to receive his leg right behind the thigh and transfer the weight you got to rotate a little bit, you see? This way, this way. Front like this, 
No turn out, lower your back here, stay engaged, swing it sideways, keep your knee low. You want to show your beautiful demonstration here? So as I leave my partners on the first back ocho, I lead it towards my left side. Now I stay with my way there. I overturn my partner until we're perpendicular and when she reaches back, I insert my leg. But if my partner does not reach back first, I cannot insert my leg there. Then I transfer her way back as I advance. And I stop halfway and then I pull back in. This and then maybe you turn. So dynamic. One, two. So Patricio mentioned perpendicularity and that's extremely important. Uh, so for the lead, keep in mind that's what you want. You want to turn your partner's torso, if you are standing here, to achieve a perpendicular position in relationship to you. If, if your partner is locked in here with the torso towards you, you will not really achieve uh, an overturn back ocho. And because of it, you will not be able to uh, sneak your leg to do the sacada. So it's very crucial that you pay attention to the preparation for the sacada to happen, to the correct, uh, correct position in the bodies. Okay, so pay attention to that back ocho, the overturn one. And if that is done correctly, very much likely you will not have any problem to fit your leg in there and allow the sacada to happen, okay? And one more thing is that you don't want to, or you want to, transfer the weight of your partner and the sacada will happen by itself, okay? Not just pushing the leg or trying to do something weird. Just fit the leg in there, and as you transfer your weight and your partner transfers her weight, the sacada will happen, guaranteed. If not, your money back. <laughs> I bring you. Well, the British classes are free, Eva. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, sorry. No, no. Sorry, sorry. I got to change that. We cannot give you your money back because these are classes that are free are by donation, okay? So actually, let me do this. Let's just don't give money back before we make it. So, <laughs> if you want to help our cause, we want to share tango with the entire world. Throughout the pandemic, we set up our studio and we've been streaming weekly classes for all of you guys that are at home and far away from here or even around the corner, uh, like some of our students that are two blocks away. I know. Uh, and want to uh, connect with us through the internet, then here we are. Uh, we're offering these uh, weekly classes and we're also offering Tuesday classes. Eva is teaching Zoom uh, body conditioning uh, technique for tango dancers. Uh, and those classes are working fantastic. I am becoming um, a contortionist pretty much uh, after all those flexibility exercises. But there's also a tango technique uh, and strengthening exercise. Um, we continue to reach out, we continue doing our tango, we have our classes uh, in person here, we have uh, private lessons weekly uh, during the weekdays and um, students are coming back so slowly uh, the group is getting together again. So if you want to help us make it through, if you want to help us uh, continue sharing our tango with the world, you can make a donation today and we will really, really, really appreciate. Uh, we are independent artists and we... Um, depend on you uh, to uh, survive. No more uh, symphony uh, concerts, no more um, festivals going on uh, these days, so this is our only way. So, here is the information, PayPal, uh, Venmo at the top, PayPal at the bottom. You can uh, click on either of them and uh, send your donation. $5, $10 for a cake, uh, $20, $50, $100, any amount is helpful, so please don't be shy. Eva, let's dance. Let's do it. Today we dance. Hoy bailamos con el sexteto milonguero. Excellent.
una tarde que en sombra se moría. Buena fue, Eso fue cortito, pero lo vamos a hacer de vuelta. Está bien, es para ir mostrando, ¿no? Claro, yes. That was a brief demonstration, but it was just to show where the overturn back ocho kicks in. Let me double check on the microphone. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're doing well. Vamos a ver quién está con nosotros. Ajá. Ok, we're going to see who is with us today and uh, saying hello. Oh, wow, look at that. So many messages. Andrew Watson. Hey, hello, Andrew. I think you're also in the neighborhood, right here in Seattle. Even close to Greenwood. Uh, oh, Kid Garros. My Kid Garros are my kids. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, they all dance tango. Sure. Yeah, very well, though, actually. <laughs> Luca, Luca is so sweet. Yes, he's a sweet boy. And then uh, Wesley says hola desde Filipina. Richard también desde Canadá. Um, Cristina de Lon de California. Palm Desert says me encanta el peinado de Luca. Luca, <laughs> Cristina, anda a mostrarle ahí a Cristina el peinado. Vayan a decirle hola a Cristina en la cámara. Digan hola si les ve la cara. Let's so go with mama. Say hello to Cristina and everybody. Acá. And then Richard Singh is, oh, what's with the Salvador Alice. Dali mustache? Yeah, you <laughs> notice my mustache, Richard, yes. Well, I just uh, figured out that uh, this is a really nice way to keep my, um, my mustache out of my mouth. And uh, here we are. Uh, Jose Manuel Orge is a good evening, a pleasure to see you again. Un placer verlo de vuelta. Master classes de Concordia, saluda. Gracias, José Manuel. And here are the kids. Sí. Yes. Muy bien, díganle hola. Está Cristina y mande saludos a Cristina con la mano. Diga hola, Cristina. En esta, en esta cámara. La que tiene el ring, Anuk. Walter Plebane, desde the more I dislike something, it seems the greater the benefit. Bravo for sharing the hip stretch, Don Patricio. Yeah, the hip stretch, uh, it's just necessary, you know, but it's all right. Vamos. Uh, it's just uh, a little <laughs> ba painful, but uh, not too much. Vayan a tomar agua. Pan Desert, uh, Daria Consiglieri dice, hola chicos, lindo verlos. Hola Daria, gracias por estar ahí. Jasmine Williams dice, hi Patricio and Eva from Dallas. Hola Jasmine, welcome, thank you for watching everybody. Uh, hermoso tango, bellos adornos. Susana Marshall dice hello from Minnesota. Thank you, Susana. I Mine know, oh, Minneapolis. Oh, I think first time for Susana with us. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. Very good. Okay, now you can go sit back there because we need to skip teaching. Okay, now it's our turn, Luca. Okay. Now it's our turn to dance. Okay? Okay, thank you. Great. So that was that. Lots of people say, saying hello, were sending messages, and uh, watching from home. Very nice, yes. So back to the Sakada. So um, several things happened. Uh, Walter said, thanks for showing the, the hip stretch. The hip stretch, uh, I'm going to actually follow up with that. I'm going to show them on the floor, because some people benefit from it. Mm -hmm. I know they do. So, vamos a poner el top view camera, and I'm going to lay on the ground for you guys and dolls, so you can see what's going on here. I hate particularly this one because gravity kicks in. So, you put your leg here, que papi, vamos a un ejercicio. and Vení. you make sure that both hips ah, are against okay. the floor, Copiale, papi. and you simply mm -hmm. put the, um, the ankle on top of your knee, Así. put your left knee straight, Ahí. both hips. Ahí on the floor good. and simply yeah. let your knee fall down to the ground oh, and don't hold it just you can put your fingers here okay. and tell this muscle to relax by just touching it mm. and breathe yeah. Yeah. make sure that you don't lift your waist Acostate. off the floor right. that you keep your back <laughs> against the floor <laughs> and you let gravity <laughs> kick that knee down let it melt down yeah. and you keep your abdomen in there yeah. so you can hold the hips against the floor square you need 10 to 15 minutes in this position it will give it will create room and it will stretch 15 if you have 20 minutes 
stay 20 minutes and keep telling these muscles to relax. Just keep telling them to relax. You can do that. You tell them to relax and they just vent. 10 minutes on each side. You see? It's really important to have mobility in that, in that way and here too. <laughs> if you look at your knee when you begin and then you look at it 10 minutes later, you will see how low it went. Okay, I will leave you with that for now. Luca, did you do it? Did you do it? Okay, Luca was doing it too. So, so many options, so little time. Yes, I won. Vamos. <laughs> okay, vamos. Okay. There you go. Vamos a mostrarlo. Yes. So, technique is everything at this point. Understanding what your directions are. I'm gonna leave my partner over here. I don't overturn the first or two. I simply lead her diagonally back as I went diagonally forward. While we're doing this, I have cross body. When you lead your follow to have cross body, she will already know that you expect her to turn at the end of this. Mm -hmm. So then you go one, two, three is the extension. Yes, please. Three is the extension as I put my leg in there. But you see, I put my leg in before the weight transfer. Let's do it this way. Extension, please. There, you see? And this is the moment where we both reach out and then we both transfer away. So you see, this is the same for both. See, the sensation is the same. I am advancing my leg when my partner is extending her leg backwards. I'm sliding it forward, she's sliding it back. I begin to transfer weight and I'm on a 50-50 and simply because I, I lock my leg so far into it, I have to reach. And Eva very well explained this a moment ago. She said, if you don't turn the partner or if you're too far from them, you won't have that overlapping. If you're standing at this distance, you extend your leg and you don't make contact. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the distance between the dancers is important here. Right there, you see, when you're close, you're able to have contact on the thigh. And see where I go after this? I go where I left before. I, went, I go back where I was. I don't just step short because oh, then- Oh yes, that is so important. Then yes. we will, you will feel like you are off, off your center. So yes. you need to send the leg, extend it, so you can do a nice front step after the, after the sacada. Okay. Yes, yes, but notice, Eva, how well she does this. She's doing back arches. She first extends, then transfer her weight, and she's supported there in one leg. There's not collapsing any direction. She is standing there like a flamingo. You see, perfectly balanced. <laughs> right? And then from there, she comes down into the same location. Yes, because otherwise your partner won't know where to expect you. Okay? Yes. So you go back out where you le left contact. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to maintain yourself standing on one leg, look up, look up. Benita está tomando. In order to maintain your balance here, your standing leg is the work. Remember, last week we gave you that exercise about um, maintaining this position for a minute with your knee up and okay, your hands in your waist on both sides to increase your balance. Do you remember that? Okay. Oh, this is where those exercises become useful because as you transfer the weight onto that one leg, you're just having that one leg balance that you just practice. Then you raise your leg for that boleo and you come back down. Notice how this is a nice way to style your dance. Hola. Hola, hermoso. It's a nice way to style your dance. So 
it's important to have that extension in the leg. From there, do it circularly. Raise your foot. Bring it down far. Hola. And then slide it back up. One, two, three, four. See this circular motion. Now, I cannot address this anymore. If you reach back, if you reach back, then your partner has a possibility of making contact with you against the front leg here as you separate this leg and your partner can enter here. This is the beginning for the chain step. And the chain step is equal for both leads, the lead and the follow, for the both dancers. The lead and the follow will make the same movement, so you gotta pay attention to that. Here, one, two, three, four. 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 Right? The importance of the weight transfer progressively is enormous in this movement because if there is no smoothness, the, the uh, saccada becomes an impact and you don't want an impact. You want this to become a displacement. You want to become a push, 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 push. It's so as you put... Like le leverage, right? Yeah. It's like you put there and as you pass, as you transfer exactly. your weight, it will feel uh, you will feel certain pressure, but it shouldn't be impactful. Yes, you are leading your partner to move her weight to the other leg. How about um, we do it this way? One back ocho, second back ocho, I know where she is, I slide my leg. The roundness is key, and the smoothness I is like given that. by the flexion. So it's a beautiful uh, element to incorporate when we are doing uh, turns with lapises and enrosques and uh, sacadas. Then I like the sacada. one that you did with one leg in my sides, a in my side, and from that high to the other side. That, that's very really nice. It it's a good. high sacada, but with a low leg. In a yes. moment, we're going to explore a little bit the high kick. I want you to kick because there's so many uh, ways to uh, mm -hmm. beautify this. All right, let's dance another one. Okay. Que no se alcanza la canción de mi pasado Todo, todo, todo lo vacío Para ahogar con esperanza los rincones de tu estilo Nadie, nadie puede, nadie nunca darse tanto, tanto y tanto Cuando el lío se le trunca Nadie, nadie puede y sin embargo En la cruz de tu letargo te di mi amor Si el amor 
llena de alcohol, llena de azul Vino otra vez con sus canciones Para llenarnos de ilusiones Si el amor flor de algodón Vino a cantar para los dos Y todo fue dar en un día Todo, todo el corazón Estamos de vuelta. Ok, so we saw a bunch of those. See, we did it in both directions. Yes. So every single ocho has that transition in which we can then advance our leg. For the lead, if you are doing multiple ochos, Tessa, you want to show your back ochos? Ven y mostrar cómo hacer los ochos. Ven a hacer los ocho con papi. Ven a hacer el paso ocho con papi de tango. Claro, bueno, que venga alguno. So, entonces, hacemos los ocho hacia atrás. Any ocho could be the last one. And then we can do the sacada. So, as the lead, as the ocho. We need a little bit of quiet, guys. Guys, we need a little bit of quiet. Our audience here is not fully trained. So... <laughs> When we put the applause sign, they laugh. And when we say quiet, they, they sing. <laughs> But we're going to train them little by little. She's coming to do the ochos? No. See? Okay. okay, don't kick the camera, please. You shouldn't be back there because the cables are going to get you tangled. No All right, time. yes. So, what I'm trying to say, because Walter uh, is watching and he told me about this exercise. When you're doing this thing before the sacada, Walter, you have to stay with your weight on your left. Left. She does this ocho. If I transfer weight with her, I lose my ability to enter that leg forward. So I go with her. Left, right, left, right, left, right. That's the last leg. She will do the next ocho. And I will only advance my leg Very and important. then rotate and then retrograde. You see? You stay one step less. less. So you do all the ochos but the last one. And the last one is always going to be overturned. Okay? I know G. Kim is also watching. And uh, G. Kim was learning this uh, ochos with Sakara. And we'd make some lines on the ground. So I'm going to bring that idea again. We're going to go ochos this way, like that. We're going to change the camera and we're going to work with that line. Okay. There we go. So there's a red line, okay? And I'm going to stand right in front of it, right here. And I'm going to make my front this. This is my front. Okay? And I'm going to move the diagonally over this line. See? Can you stand in front on top of the line? So see what I do here. I leave those ochos. This one is f away from me and back towards me. Away from me and back towards me. Away and come back. I say away because I'm looking in this direction. I'm not looking at it through the line. Sorry, Eva. <laughs> Then here I stay. I make her come back over that line. And I will advance. 
and I will try to put my foot somewhere in between these two places. See, there are two feet on the floor. If you put it too far to the front foot, then your sakara will kick her knee or her calf. If you put it uh, too close to the back foot, then you will go with her to the center. Yes, there is no okay. overlapping in the leg, yeah. right? So you want to go right through the center. If you put your, your leg under her head, you will be safe. Then as she moves back and you're turning here. That's a nice, uh, a nice guidance to put the leg under your partner's head. Yes, That's under your, uh, not under, you gotta actually cross the leg and be on the other side of your partner, you yeah. see that? But what you wanna do is go right through the line where the body is, and that's the center. Then when you are advanced and you're turning. Yeah. Then you're close to each other's axis and you can support here. Keeping this leg open like this and, and strong will help you maintain your balance. If you go too far, you will go with it. You will go with your partner. Yes. So keep yourself anchored here. Yeah, look, you, you are share weight. Yeah. You are on a split way, yes. Split way. You don't transfer, that's for the lead, you don't transfer completely your, your way to the front leg because if not, you probably will push your partner off her center. Yeah, that's what Patricia is saying. Yes. Eva, let's dance again. Okay. Va a cambiar la cámara? Let's just, yes, let's just take oh, this. Okay. This uh, and then we have to use the uh, foot uh, cap. We didn't use it today. No. No? No, we didn't use it. Okay, muy bien. Everybody stand up and let's dance. Stand up and dance. Cenizas de las verdes y hacer inolvidable. Solo quiero hacerte ver que aunque no lo quieras creer, hay amores imborrables. Después de tanto vuelvas a verte. Esta emoción siento mirarte. Siento un loco palpitar en mi viejo corazón. Y es que al fin te vuelvo a hallar. Pocas palabras, vieja amiga. Pocas palabras es mejor Ya ves el mundo sin igual Sin nuestra unión sentimental Pocas palabras te lo de antes No conversaba más de amor Y es que el amor que ya pasó Pero que aún, aún no murió Vuelvo a hallarte Y esta emoción siento olvidarte Siento un loco palpitar En mi viejo corazón Y es que al fin te vuelvo a hallar ¿Qué pasó? Muy powerful, muy powerful. Y es el sexteto milonguero. Y como que, que, que no, es no de nada. milonguero. Like you want to start like throwing, uh, like... Guitars on the... <laughs> smashing. We're smashing guitars on the dance. You know, uh, Javier de Siriaco used to sing heavy metal. 
Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so that's why maybe he's yeah, got such a power. Don't change. You know, <laughs> people don't change. No. <laughs> Yeah. Well, though people do change, but some of the essence stays. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are we? Oh, we're doing great. Good, okay. The kids, how are the kids doing? Don't what, hurt yourself, what, Luca. What? Eh? Don't hurt yourself. Be careful. <laughs> Don't go crazy. I mean, too crazy. Crazy, it's okay, but when they go too crazy is when they go mm -hmm. to fall off. Después te muestro eso. Yeah, después te lo muestro, okay? Quiere saber cómo se abre eso, pero no se puede pasar por acá. Ahora cuando termina la clase, no, don't have an accident, don't have an accident. Okay, vamos a ver, let's see how everybody's doing at home. Did we get any more messages? And, uh, sí, Malena, Malena dice, tango, fuego y música. Se ve que le gustó el... Uh, tango, fuego, porque el tango es fuego. El tango es caliente, fuego, así. Ahí te dicen, hello kids, te dicen. All right. Okay. So, um, the kick. So here is something really nice. When I saw this for the first time, I saw Paola Parrondo do this. And his, her partner at the time, it was Claudio Hoffman. Two excellent dancers. At the time, these people were uh, together. And I, I look up to them because I was a kid. Uh, and... Uh, I, uh, I love one day doing that. And now I do it, no problem. <laughs> but here, look, I'm going to make my partner on a back ocean. I'm going to push her on her sacada. I like doing that. Yes. So this is forbidden in some circles. Uh -huh. But it's up to you to do it safely, okay? Um, Luca. Give us a little space, space, Luca, because we're going to kick. Oops. Boom. Like that. I lost this. Boom. Boom. That's how the energy goes up. Boom. It's called develope. Develope. Because it develops. You need to stand up here. Overturn your partner. High up. So the leg goes like. Yes, the this has to go really square, really tight. You need the partner here. Then you overturn and you have tension against the high kick. Bah! She kicks. I'm doing a circular. Okay. So you got to position yourself. It's different ways. I don't know which one you want me to show. Oh, you show whatever you want. Okay, I will show different ways then. Because I don't remember how Paola did it. So you can go straight like that. You can go more circular. Yeah, well, I, well, the only thing I want to make the difference is that it's not round and it's not soft. Before, I was leading an ample turn. That means the curvature of the rotation of the upper body is wide. It's of a certain ah, kind nice. in which Whoa. she gets drifted. She, you make her drift out of orbit into a round curve. Here, you are coming okay. more of a Good. Go now. corner. That means you're going to put your leg deeper forward and you're going to press harder. You're not going to stay halfway here, giving her a chance to just to stay there. You're going to lead her further around you, means further closer to the clockwise, and then you're going to push. And that leads the leg to come higher. How the follow develops that is part of the follow dance. And Eva can give you input on that. One, two, three, four. And that moment of the picture, you can hold the leg up. That moment there, where you connect both lines, the leg of the lead at the bottom, and that leg up there pushing, Para que estoy mostrando un paso. That's the union yeah. Go. of the transition, the union of the energy. One, two, three, four. Yum. Taram. Tam. Let's dance again. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yes. Well, we're getting there.
Yeah. Let's find a nice song by the Sexteto and we can dance. Cuchulú, necesito espacio. Porque si no te voy a pegar una patada sin querer. que en sombra se moría buenamente oímos la Dios mi tristeza profunda no veías y al marchar te sonreía por los dos y la desolación mirándote para ti quebraba de emoción mi pobre voz el sueño más feliz no viene el adiós ni el cielo para mí se oscureció Mirándote para ti, que brava de emoción, mi pobre voz, el sueño más feliz, morirá en adiós, y el cielo para mí se oscureció. That was kind of wild, like really wild. <laughs> <laughs> why? What do you mean why? Like why? <laughs> Sorry, I lost you some some place here. I don't know. I got distracted. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I don't know. <laughs> something is in the air. <laughs> so okay. we meet again uh, next uh, Saturday, and we are and we are going to uh, continue with this on our second part of this class. Those of you who were paying attention might have noticed I uh, gave away the next step, uh, next week step when I did the change step here at the end of the song. So if yes. you go back to this video after the class finished, you can go watch the last dance again. You will see that I finished with some change step. And that's the work of next week. What we work on today for the sacada, making contact with the uh, high thigh, uh, was a presentation for a prerequisite on next week movement that is the chain step so let's tune in again on Saturday at 7 p.m. and we guarantee you we teach you the chain step if you want to make a donation throughout the week don't forget the links are here in the comments on the side 
you can uh, go into PayPal and make a donation. You can call us and schedule, what, find out what's going on in terms of in-person dancing, which there is a lot going on. And uh, thank so you for your support. Can yes. go on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you for being on the other side. Okay. Of the wait a <laughs> para que voy a poner la canción para que nos vamos. So we're gonna leave okay. with the with the song. Like this, where is it? Okay, here we go. Bye, everybody. What's going on?